All right, dork friends. Let's see if we can make this uh, not too long of a video. I went shopping and I got me a new antenna switch. And uh, what I've got hooked up here is on the uh, 400, I've got a uh, vertical, 90 foot vertical. The tip of it's up at 100 feet. And then uh, this other little piece here goes to an off center fed dipole. So we're gonna check out 80 meters and we're gonna check out WWV and uh, we're gonna call it good because uh, I've got a lot of things to do today. Um, I am going to be uh, swapping out antennas and uh, I'm gonna be going to this uh, doublet. It's a standard G5RV, 102 feet of uh, copper and I think it's about 33 feet of uh, ladder line. This is almost the same, it's 102 feet of copper, but it has 100 feet of ladder line, so I guess that makes the difference. And there's, uh, anyways, we'll do this real fast. Quite a few, uh, that's the doublet, uh, 100 feet, 102 feet of uh, copper and 100 feet of ladder line. The standard G5 RV is 102 feet with about 30 some odd feet. And then you have the mini with 52 feet of copper. And uh, Oasis makes a brand. Um, Granite State makes a couple of different brands and what have you. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this and, and make it my, my horizontal dipole. And I have... I have an Alpha Delta DX LB Plus, 10 through 160. It's only about 100 feet long, and I'm thinking about making that a vertical. Anyways, all right, let's go to signals. I don't want this to be a big, long, huge video. All right, we are on... That is the vertical. And then I'm going to switch to dipole. So he is just about 30, just about 30 S units on the dipole, and he's just about 20 on the vertical. That is an SGC vertical, 90 feet of wire and 500 feet of uh, ground radials. All right, let's go to... WWV, check that out too, because it's a little bit more steady signal. All right, 10 megahertz, WWV. Uh, we are on the big coax, so that is the vertical. And we're just a shy, we're tickling right at 20 S units, 20 over 9. All right. Wow. Now that is the dipole. And for some reason the vertical's out doing it. But anyways, interesting. Well there we go. Peaked up, so I wonder if it's changing power a little bit. We're propagation. So we're gonna be changing everything out today. Thought it'd be kind of fun to video document. There's vertical. There's dipole. Obviously on uh, 10 megahertz, uh, the dipole is not performing as well. It doesn't, it's not resonant on 30 megahertz anyway, it's, or 30 meters. So we'll be right back. We'll do one more test on like say 40 or 20. We'll find a signal, be right back. All right, one more quick test here. This is the vertical. That's the dipole. Dipole's up 100 feet on one end and 40 on the other. Vertical. Dipole. So they're fairly close. Anyways, biggest reason we're swapping things out is uh, gotta make the wife happy. 
I have an antenna across the yard in a place that's not okay, so we're going to install a big antenna here in a different way and get wires a little bit more concealed. And then um, I've got some new jumpers and everything, and then with the antenna switch, the way my desk is right now, holy smokes, doing lots of moving around stuff. Anyways, I'm going to try and rearrange a little bit of this and clean it up and see what I can do and... and uh, have some fun with that uh, with that four position switch now I can uh, hook my dummy load which is in the back back there up with the watt meter if I want to and uh, I can do uh, a uh, 10 through 160 tuner on one antenna and go straight through the radio on the radio tuner on another antenna options are open all right dark friends um, it's nine o'clock and my day is ticking faster than I want Catch you later, 7387QT.